Plenty of Bay Area families face the prospect of going hungry this holiday season. And when it comes to feeding the need, it's not a one-size-fits-all. Let's go back out to Reed Cowan. He's at Whole Foods in Oakland. He's got the story of one volunteer group factoring culture into the equation. Reed, tell us about it. I'll tell you what, it has been my absolute honor to be traveling the Bay Area these last several weeks to get to know so many volunteers and community organizers and, you know, our Jocelyn Moran really enlightened us to one hero in our community who makes sure that our Muslim brothers and sisters have the food that they need. Here's her story. It takes a team to make this happen. Rain or shine, volunteers show up to bring groceries to hundreds of families at their doors. Behind all of this is Amina Abdullah with the Muslim Community Center. At 6 a.m. every other Saturday in Pleasanton, Sister Amina loads up this van. One by one, each bag contains items like rice, beans, pasta, fruits, and vegetables. Groceries for people who need them throughout the Bay. I think it's part of our faith service, um, just helping those in need. And that's the whole purpose of Muslim Community Center is to help the community and serve those who are struggling. Their first set of deliveries when the pandemic started was for 16 families. They're up to 350 now. And once a month, they add diapers for families who need them. A couple of hours after Sister Amina loads up the van, volunteers show up packing more bags and cars. While most of the people they serve are within the Muslim community, they help anyone who needs it. The food is going to primarily elderly who can't get out and about easily. Um, it's going to single mothers who a lot of them don't have transportation. We're also now helping the Afghan refugees. Once the cars are loaded up, volunteers drive to a central location. We're so bringing uh, produce and dry food uh, from here in Pleasanton over to Oakland. Uh, where I'm going to be basically bringing it to a central location uh, near Lake Merritt. And we have a partnership with DoorDash, so they'll actually send um, uh, DoorDashers to that site, and I'll basically hand it off to them. Sister Amina says there's this misconception that the Bay Area is wealthy. While some parts of the Bay are, there are many struggling to pay for food, rent, and utility bills. Do you need food for yourself? Yes. Oh, sure. Um, do you need diapers by any uh, Yes. Some people will walk up to their warehouse hearing from others about this pantry. When we first moved to California, my husband and my kids and I, we lived in Hayward. And from our apartment complex, we didn't have a car at first, um, and we would walk to the grocery store. So as we're walking under the bridge on Jackson Street, there's a lot of homeless people. And I think that forever impacted my kids. I don't know how she does it. She works with a smile. She hugs with a smile, and there's a lot of people being in turf. <laughs> Everyone here volunteers with a smile on their faces. So this is all what it's all about. Working together to bring essentials that are desperately needed. In Pleasanton, Jocelyn Moran, KPIX 5. Sister Amina reminding us all that everybody matters. You at home matter. And if you want to show that same love and that same spirit of support, Here's how you can be a part of our KPIX Food for Bay Area Families Food Drive. Go to our website, kpix.com forward slash give, or follow that QR code on your screen. As you sit down to have your meal tonight, just think about maybe even providing one meal. Just giving $1 provides two meals here in our Bay Area, and every penny matters. Yeah, there's no better feeling in the world yes. than, you, than when you know you've actually helped somebody. You've given back. You've given mm -hmm. your time. You've given your resources. It's a pretty incredible feeling.